Starting this New Year's Day, California stores will now be forced to include a gender-neutral toy section for children. The law, which Governor Newsom signed in 2021, forces all stores with more than 500 workers to comply or face fines starting at $250. Former California GOP state senator Melissa Melendez voted against the bill, and she joins us now. A good morning to you, Melissa. So out of all things California could tackle crime, homelessness, <laughs> drug use, they chose the toy aisle. What was your initial reaction back in 2021 when you read this bill? Well, I was really stunned, number one, because the author of the bill doesn't have any children. <laughs> so he has no idea what it's like to go to the store scrambling to try to find that toy for your child's birthday or Christmas, rush home to make dinner, take care of the family. He has no idea. So I was stunned that someone who, without children was so focused on controlling how I shop for my children. Yeah, I don't even think that there are labels on toy sections like, you know you go into a toy store you don't see a boy section and, and a girl section so practically what changes here well you know there are some retailers who have already decided to start doing this and that's probably how it should be you know rather than the government trying to step in and co-parent with parents in California, let retailers decide what's best for their customers and what their clientele wants. But the last thing we need is for the state legislature in California to decide, you know, parents, this is how you need to shop for your children. And oh, by the way, if you have a son and you take him to the section where there are trucks or Legos, that somehow that makes you a bad parent. It's policies like these that are terrible for people living in California and, you know, across the United States, too, if any other states are choosing to do this. But again, we don't need the government trying to co-parent with us. We've got it just fine. Yeah, the vice president of the California Family Research Council said that this violates the First Amendment. He says you go to the government, you got the government now dictating the signage in stores about what words can be used to advertise products. This is opening a Pandora's box. Well, it is. And, you know, I'm with the America First Policy Institute. Our mission has always been you put the American people first. You put the Californian people first. This puts special interest groups first. It says we're going to let a small minority who have decided that this is just terrible for children. We're going to give them the voice and the power to control everyone's choices and how they shop. And for goodness sake, we have a $68 billion budget deficit in California. I'm pretty sure we could probably be focusing on some things other than the toy section at our local Target. So businesses who do not comply will face fines between $250 and $500. Who's going to be checking the toy aisles? That is a great question. Maybe they're going to deputize uh, all the children in California and have them report. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's it's be, it's beyond this, absurd yeah, right now. Yeah, and again, this is like so huge, peak. peak huge, yeah, it's so peak California. It feels like it's parody, but it's not. Uh, you mentioned yeah. the guy who wrote this legislation. His name is Evan Lowe. Is that right? California Democratic lawmaker. That's correct. Um, he said mm -hmm. we need to stop stigmatizing what's acceptable for certain genders and just let kids be kids. What's your quick reaction to that? Well, my quick reaction is go have some children of your own, and then you can talk to me about how I should raise my children. But secondly, you know, this notion that this is harming children, for crying out loud, we've all been, you know, this country, we've been raising children for years and years and years. We understand how to do so. And someone who doesn't even have children just doesn't need to be weighing in on this. I mean, he said that it came, it was, the Genesis was a staffer of his, had a little girl, and she wanted to know why some toys were off limits to her. They're not off limits. If they're off limits, they're off limits because your parents made them so, not, not the store. It's a great point. Melissa Melendez, former California state senator, thank you so much for joining us.